How you hollin'? Find out next. You are having a great weekend. Um, this is a video of a couple of things I've purchased. It's a haul video, so hauls are always fun. Um, to kind of see what everyone's buying, you kind of check out what goods are out there. And this is my haul. Um, I've been picking up a few items, I guess, over the past couple of weeks slash days. So let's just jump right into it. Um, on the fashion side of it, I picked up this bracelet from New York and Company. It's really cute. It has an initial, and it was on clearance, and the initial, I don't know if you can see, is J. And J is the first letter of my husband's name and also of my daughter's name. And I just think it's super cute to kind of, you know, have that initial of the person that you love kind of around your wrist. I think it's a really great conversation starter. And it also kind of lets them know, like, hey, I kind of have like a, a little piece of you or a little something of you kind of on me. So this was like $7 and I got free shipping in, you know, the J stands for my husband and for my daughter. I just thought it was really cute, simple way of kind of, you know, representing them um, through jewelry and stuff like that. So definitely recommend that you go to New York and Company, check it out. Um, you can get any letter you want, boyfriend, girlfriend, best friend, daughter, husband, sister, whoever, um, that means a lot to you kind of step out of the box and kind of pick a letter that um, starts with someone that you really care about or you can do your last name or you can do your name because you should love you. I picked up this, this Stripes shirt. It was $6. Hopefully you can see it so I'll just go up and down. Long sleeve. Um, $6. I picked it up Christmas Eve. Just thought, you know what, I don't really have too many stripes. It's really cute. And six bucks is not bad. Let's see what the original price was. Original price was twelve fifty, so a little over half off. Definitely will get use out of this. Just thought it was a really cute basic to have. And six bucks, well, you just can't beat that, right? Um, Beauty.com was offering twenty percent off um, anything on their site. Well, there were some things that were excluded, so I decided to go ahead and pick up the original Beauty Blender. This wound up costing like $20 and change. And to be honest, I've heard about the Beauty Blender before, but um, have you ever heard the price of something or learned the price of an item and it was so high where you either laugh or your reaction was like a sound effect? Well, that was my initial reaction when I heard about the Beauty Blender a couple months ago when they were like, okay, it's like $19 for a sponge. My reaction was, psh. Um, yeah, that sponge better do my makeup, do my dishes, do my taxes, and mow the lawn. So, um, I've heard a lot of great things about it. 20% off made um, this sponge duo like $20.95. Plus, I used Ebates and got, I believe, 6% cash back. And then, you know, beauty.com gives you 5% cash back. So, I figured by when everything was said and done, this is getting close to a lot of dupes that other people have talked about, like the Soho Beauty Sponge, which I believe is about $8 or so. So definitely wanted to check out the original. If you've used it, please feel free to comment down below. Let me know how you liked it or if you've used dupes because I've heard that Avon has a dupe as well. Let me know how you liked any of the dupes or if you liked the original. So I'm very curious to try this and see how it works. And hopefully I will be in love with it just like everybody else pick up more of these glasses. I think these are for candles, but I actually use them for my makeup. So um, my makeup liners and things that I want to get to quickly, I display them in here on my bathroom counter and it's a buck. So I have several of these. I got two more. It's a dollar. So uh, my chubby lip pencils or my eyeliners or concealer, anything I want to get to quickly while having to fiddle too much um, through other stuff. I just put them in here and each um, jar is designated to a certain thing. So I have like one for lips, one for eyes, stuff like that. And I find it very helpful and it's a dollar. So you cannot beat that. The Hydroquench Foaming Oil Cleanser. This is part of their new skincare line. Get up close so you can see. I wanted to try a foaming oil cleanser for a while. This is currently 30% off, and then if you use the $3.50 coupon, it's under 10 bucks. So, a really great, affordable way to try 
a foaming oil cleanser if you're interested. Looks like this. And I know Josie Marin has one and lots of other companies do, but I figured, you know what, let's try this one. Great affordable price. Looks like that. You get 6.2 fluid ounces. It also says it's great for dry skin. So if you have dry skin and you're looking for a cleanser, this might be one you want to try. But I'm going to use it as a makeup remover, help break down some of the um, eye makeup I use because sometimes that can be a little tough to get off. And then I'll follow up with one of my other um, favorite skincare cleansers that I use. But yeah, this is Ulta. So hopefully this will be a winner. And it says renew. Walgreens, I picked up two nail polishes. They have, and they still have this promotion going on. Um, the nail polishes are from L'Oreal. Buy one, get one half off. And then I had a $3 off coupon. Now, the nail polishes were $5.99, but when I bought mine this past Saturday, they rang up like buy one, get one free. So I got both of these nail polishes for like three bucks, which is awesome. And the shades I got are Violet Vixen because we all know Raquel's going through this plum phase and I can't quit you. I just can't quit my plum. <laughs> yeah, I've been really loving the plum. So this one is number 500 Violet Vixen. Nice plummy shade because I'm obsessed and crazy and call myself a plum fool because I'm a fool for the plums. And then I got number 550 After Hours, which looks like this deep, rich, purpley blue shade. That's going to be pretty. I mean, it was in the mood for something dark. And I only paid $3.24 for both, so I ain't mad. Last up is from Walmart. I picked up the Olay 4-in-1 Daily Facial Cloths for combination slash oily skin. It comes in this limited edition case and you get 33 facial wash cloths. And I plan on using that with the oil um, to help take off my makeup because I don't want um, any of my makeup to stain my washcloths because that ain't hot. That's not a good look. So I figured that would help take off the makeup, not stain any of the washcloths. And then I can go in with my regular cleanser, which I use some from everyone. Um, Olay. Is the other brand I've been using a lot, Miro Badescu. So I can use this in conjunction with that. I also picked up two more of the Vivid lipsticks because let's face it, I have a problem when it comes to lipsticks. I just can't help myself. Um, the two shades I picked up were Brazen Berry, number 905 looks like this and I think a lot of people are gonna really really like this one let's watch it oh so, yeah loving it look at that now this is how it looks in the tube and that's how it looks so definitely check this one out um, it's definitely a color I don't have I don't think I have I don't think I have <laughs> It's so pretty, so that's it swatched, that's it beside there, and it's 905 Brazenberry, because again, I am a fool for the blends. Okay, I also decided to pick up number 875 Wild Rose in the Vivid Lip Colors. Now look at this, are you ready? I don't think you're ready. Ready? Wow. It's not pretty, it just looks. Gorgeous. Let's swatch it. Oh yeah. Loving it. So it is right there. And then here it is beside there. Look at that. That is just really pretty. So picked up two more of those. I already have the hot plum, which I love. So definitely loving those too. The brazenberry in that rose shade. Very pretty. Last but certainly not least in my haul, you know there's new foundations out from the drugstore and I was terribly curious. So I picked up the Revlon Nearly Naked in 240 Toast because that is my shade in Revlon 
And I don't know what the obsession is with being naked these days, but you know, Urban Decay, you started a trend. We all want to be just butt naked, our skin naked, our eyes naked. So, you know, Revlon had to jump forward, and I'm very curious to try this, so um, we'll definitely be trying this, demoing it, and do a gotta try or pass it by on Nearly Naked. Okay, last item up is from CoverGirl. It is the Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. It has an SPF of 20. I picked it up in shade 860 Classic Tan because I figured that would match me best. And to be honest, I haven't tried a CoverGirl foundation since like, uh, maybe like early, mid-teens. Like it's been a long time. When I say a long time, I mean a long time because I don't know, something about the way their foundations look just haven't appealed to me. I found that Revlon and L'Oreal um, tend to be kind of better matches for my skin tone. Um, even Maybelline's kind of stepped up their game. So I was really curious to try this one. Love the fact already that it has a pump. I know this nearly naked one does not from Revlon. And it says, lasting power of a primer, coverage of a concealer, and blendability of a foundation in one. Shine free. So, you know, we got to put this bad boy to the test. And again, expect a demo. Got to try to pass it by on this. And that is the new CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation plus sunscreen. Hopefully this will not leave me looking like an ashy mess like sunscreen, sun sunscreens can do. So we will see about that. I hope that you found this video fun and I hope that you got some ideas of what to kind of look for in the drugstore. Maybe some things to look for to check out while you're in your local um, Walmarts, Walgreens, or wherever you might be. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. And feel free to leave any comments down below, especially if you use that beauty blender. I want to hear from you or any of the products. If you've already tried some and you don't like them or you do like them, I want to hear your thoughts because, hey, we're girlfriends here, right? So leave them down below, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.